Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with a different video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade your RAM for your HP gaming laptop. This one is an HP 15. It comes with an iCore 5 9 Gen and an GTX 1650. So they actually, um, people can buy this with an 8 gig RAM. You can actually add to up to 16. You can go up to 30, 32 gig, but for gaming, you should only go up to 16. There's no need to go 32 unless you're going to do video editing. So simply, let's get into it. To open it up is pretty simple. You want to flip open down the laptop. What you want to do, you want to grab yourself an opening tool and a set of screwdriver. I use this iFixit tool set and they have all the bits you need and they're really nice. So we're going to be using the bit number Phillips zero. We can use zero or we can use double zero. Let me see. Yeah, we're going to use the zero Phillips head number zero. And also what you want to do, you want to grab yourself an opening tool or a guitar pick. I like the guitar pick because they're really soft edges. So it's really hard to scratch and really tough. The metallic ones. You get a higher gauge so let's get into it so what do you want to do you want to remove the bottom screws on the bottom cover there's a two on this side and two on the other side if the screw doesn't come out grab a tiny magnet use them with a magnet or just magnetize the tip of the screwdriver or just leave this magnet right there and there's a three screw right in the front end of the laptop. That these are the short ones. All right, once you remove those short ones, so the back ones are the same size, the front ones are the same size. You cannot mismatch them. All right, once you are in this position, now what you want to do, you want to grab your guitar pick. You want to put the laptop in 45 degree angle in front, and you want to grab your guitar pick. You want to shove it right between the bottom and right where the crack is right in here. You want to put it right there and you want to just twist it. Do the same thing all around. Go to the edge. You want to hear those clicks. All right. And then you want to do the side. The same thing. You just want to work it around. And right where the back rubber ends right there there's a gap you want to do that side do the left side or your right side uh, so do the back rubber end side now you can do the back side of the laptop just by putting it right over here there's a tiny gap right there all right now what you want to do you want to grab the bottom cover mine just came out really easy yours might you have to wiggle it around a little bit because at the bottom there's a two tiny clips right here you have to pull them off so those clips hold from the battery corner so it just when it's not coming out just wiggle it or pull it up a little bit too hard from this side and a little bit from that side and you can just release those clips all right, now you can go ahead and clean up your mesh, your filter dust mesh. And we are pretty much halfway through. Now down here, you can see the RAM right here. And the other RAM dim is right here under this black cover. You can just rip this apart. You don't actually need it. This is, the one they put it here is just to cover it so they don't actually see the RAMs. So you can remove it, the airflow will be better. But if you want to put it on, is it sticky? You can just go ahead and put it back on it. All right. The RAM is here. Some people always say, oh, don't touch the RAM unless you disconnect the battery. You don't need to disconnect the battery if you want to just upgrade the RAM as long as the laptop is off. But if you want to go ahead and disconnect the battery, it's simple. The cable is right here. You want to just pull out on this cable. It's a jack. Just pull it gently, wiggle it around, and it will come out. Now the battery is out and we go to the best part right now.
the battery is right here to remove the battery you just have to pull these two triggers apart just pull them apart and the battery will come up in 45 degree angle as you can see here now you don't want to yank it up you just want to pull it out in 45 degree angle where it came out so you don't want to lift it up otherwise you're going to break the jack to put it back in make sure the notch on the ram matches the notch right under them 45 degree goes in all the way in and then push it down you're going to hear the two clicks on the side once you hear those click nicely that means the ram is in place if your ram is not all the way in and you push it down the clip stays open so what do you want to do all the way in all the way down hear those click you want to add another ram make sure you have the same gig and same speed that's the best configuration make sure the notch on them fit Fits. This one uses a DDR4 or PC4. You can put an 8 gig, 8 gig, or 16 or 16. Or you can even mismatch them. So you can have a dual channel. Just put there and all the way down. Here the two clicks. Um, pretty much. And then when you want to, at the end, you want to plug in the power in the battery. Just a tip, just remember when you add a RAM or remove RAMs and you boot up your laptop, it might take up to 15 seconds to recognize and get configuration done on the BIOS. So don't panic or don't think like, oh no, it's not detecting. Be patient, just wait for it. And if it didn't detect, remove it, switch the in places and then boot it up again. It happens a lot with many of the laptops. So I'm just going to remove the, this RAM, 45 degree, pull out, and that's it. To plug in the cable for the battery, simple, just align it, slide it all the way down to the jack. And you pretty much set. And if you want to be nifty about this one, you can just go ahead and put this, uh, whatever, plastic right on top of it. Okay, and the last part is to grab the bottom cover. Align it right on top. Don't press in the middle. There's nothing to press here. There's tiny clips you're gonna hear, but you can go ahead. What do you wanna do? You wanna open up the laptop and you wanna open up the screen and you wanna pinch the corners just like this and you wanna hear those clicks. Do the sides, do the back, and then do the right by the hinges. And if you want to press right where the battery was, you're going to hear those two clicks where the battery holds to the clips. And that's it. And the last thing will be just grab the long screws and place it right at the back. If you see anything open, just pinch it like this one over here. There. In the other corner, just pinch it. There we go. Now put the three screws at the front end. And we are pretty much done. For the purpose of this video, I don't want to add the RAM. Because the client doesn't want the RAM. And pretty much we are done. If you have any questions, any comments, you know where to leave them. I would appreciate if you like click that thumbs up button. It really helps and motivates me to take requests and do more videos for you guys. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video.